But it's nice out there, isn't it? Kind of a little chilly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, football weather, huh? Yeah, playoff weather back home. Yeah. So uh, talk about this being your, you know, last home game, man. You know, to me, it's going to – I've been talking to most of the seniors, and we know what this means to us and how much we – we fought through to get here, and uh, it's kind of emotional for some of us, you know, because we want to give it our all, make sure we lead the team the right way, and make sure we leave a, a positive influence to where we set a high standard for the next group of seniors that, that's right behind us. You, you mentioned the stuff y'all been through with and the coaching change and the bowl ban. How do you, how do you I guess, balance the, the emotions of Saturday night against playing a football game and trying to go out there and go win? Basically, all we did, we just stayed as one, you know, make sure nobody did nothing negative. We all stayed positive. And only we stay whole as one, like one big family like, like we are now, ain't nothing can stop us. So that's the mindset that we had this whole time, just staying as one. In addition to playing for yourselves and, and the team and whatnot, is there a sense among the players of wanting to do well to help Coach Luke and, and what it could mean for him in the coaching search? I mean, everyone wants to do good for Coach Luke. You know, we know he's a – an outstanding head coach for us. Um, he's been leading by example for us, and all we try to do every day and every time we play on Saturday is give our all to Coach Lou. That's all we try to do. Give us a little insight on A and M's uh, offense. Uh, a and M offense, they they got a good scheme going. You know, uh, one of their best players, is Christian Kirk, and then watching them on film, they got a good running back who's fast, um, kind of similar to T C running back when we played them in the Peach Bowl. So. We got to make sure we play fast, physical, and stay focused and don't get out flank and make sure we're able to keep the ball inside and whenever we get a chance, get the quarterback. Looks like they've been playing that drop back quarterback more uh, recently. Is that a better matchup for you guys to rush the passer than stop the run? Um, basically, our, our objective is just treat every, every quarterback the same. You know, we're not going to think that he's just a pocket passer. We're going we're gonna to think he's both like a dual threat. So we're not going, you know, get ahead of ourselves. We're going to just stay focused. Do you feel like you guys are better against the run than you were a month ago? Or do you feel have y'all been improving as the season's gone along? Um, I feel like since the first, since Alabama game, we've been improving against the run game, and it's been working real well for us. You know, we pay more attention to details to the scheme, watching a lot of more film, making sure we know like exactly what's going on and when, what what play we're going to get. So I say we're improving real well. Thank you, partner.